G'day everyone. Uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, Azure resources and how to visualize them. And I have Matt Wicks here. How are you, Matt? Yeah, pretty good. How are you? Excellent. So I want to talk about what documentation you expect to see in a project, specifically around the Azure resources. Yeah, so um, when I go to a new project, um, I really want to see you know a great readme on on the as soon as I open the project. Um, I want to see um, some architecture diagrams, technology diagrams, just so I can get a you know a, a sort of a ten foot view of, of the project without reading anything. I want to see links to to my Azure resources so I can go in if I need to go in uh, and do things. Awesome. Well, I'm specifically interested in the third one, the Azure resources. So let's dive in. Okay. So uh, here I've got our uh, Sugar Learning project. Um, we can see that, hey, there's a readme. Awesome, that's a great start. If I uh, scroll down, I can see that there's links to the, um, the different technologies and the architecture of the application. So um, I can go in and find diagrams there. And further down, there's a whole big section of project links to our various things, so our different environments, um, but I know that uh, you care about um, our Azure resources. Exactly. So let, let's let's click on that and take a look. How many do we have? Twenty four records in here. Um, various different uh, databases. That looks like there's dashboards. Um, there's APIs. More databases. Um, web jobs. Availability tests. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, if I'm going into a new project, I don't want to see this big list of resources. Uh, the names don't actually make any sense to me um, for for this. So I'll, I'd like a nice diagram so I can I can just see that um, I can I can see the forest. I don't really care so much about the trees. Right, right. now, do we want a manual diagram or an automatic diagram? Uh, manual diagrams are awesome because you can tweak them to exactly what you need to be, but that's a lot of maintenance that you have to pay. So every time you make a, a change to the infrastructure, you got to update your diagrams as well. So um, it'd be great if. I like to have something that's just auto-generated. Uh, that'll get you like 80% of the way there, and that's better than nothing, and it's easy to keep up to date. So we've got a, a Visual Code, a Visual Studio Code extension from uh, Ben Coleman called ARM Template Viewer. Uh, that's able to take uh, an ARM template, so that's the, the free way for um, you to have you know, an infrastructure as code set up using Azure, so you deploy this, this template file, and it sets up all your resources for you. Um, it is able to visualize that JSON file and, um, and produce the diagram for you. So first off, you have an ARM template. What I've got here is um, a sample from the Azure Quick Start templates. So it's a bunch of templates that the, the Azure team put out. Uh, this one, if we, if the, the title kind of gives it away, um, there's a Cosmos DB uh, connected, you know, website connects to it and it's deployed from GitHub. So, um, pretty common sort of web app scenario. And we've got the JSON file, which we can look through. Yep. So Is I'll, that a big one? I'll just open it in VS Code so it's a bit easier to read. Uh, so this one is... That's not that easy to read, Matt. <laughs> 170 lines long, just for, for a couple of resources. So it's it, it's one of those things that you have to, like a magic eye, you've got to sort of squint a bit and then it, then it kind of makes sense. Uh, but when you know what to look for, I can see that we've got a... Uh, a document DB resource being deployed, so that's actually a Cosmos DB. So they changed the name. Still not renamed. Yep. Um, down here, I've got a server farm, so that hosts the app service. Um, and then further down, I've got a site. That's actually an app service. So you've got a, a, a sort of a lexicon issue here where things are named differently to what they are on 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 the portal. Um, and then you've got to hunt through and see, oh, well, this uh, this site depends on um, a server farm, okay. The server farm depends on uh, the document DB. This is, yeah. it's a pain, it's a pain to read. So um, I've got the extension installed. I just go to my quick launch and there's a, an ARM viewer. Bang, it's oh. automatically generated a dependency diagram for me. So I can see that things are coming out of uh, GitHub in this case. Yeah. Um, we're deploying uh, a site yeah. that sits on this, the um, server farm and depends on a database account, of Cosmos DB. I know it's Cosmos because it's got it's got the logo there. How easy is that? Can we rename it? <laughs> uh, we can. We can label things. Well, this it's gotten some names 
on their automatic. But once you start doing that, you've now got technical debt. Yeah. Well, not necessarily. You can use a parameters file and um, and then this can pull in settings from parameters. Oh, so and you can things keep like regenerating with the right names. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. So some cool things that this can do. And then you can hit export, export it as, as a PNG, bang, drop it on your wiki. Oh, that some is Some excellent fantastic. documentation right there. Yeah, that is great. That is uh, much better than looking through a massive list of Azure resources. Yeah, really nice. So thank you so much, Matt. That was really fantastic. And this is Adam Kogan signing off for SSW TV.